on the moon, yeah. Hello and welcome to Tech Tips with me, Jacob Goodine on Sold Out Media. We are uh, having something fun today. We have an action camera and we actually have the GoPro Hero 10. And uh, later on we're gonna see what they can do up against uh, other action cameras like the Insta360 GO and uh, DJI Osmo Action. But first, what's in the box? All right, let's open this puppy up. They have a paper casing here, so it's nice that it's less plastic. That is good. Get it slide out. There we go. Put it like that. Here, GoPro case. Looks nice. We'll open them up. It's an action camera, you don't have to break it. All right, there's some papers here up in the top. A little bit of instructions, how to open your uh, battery compartment. Because you don't want to rip, uh, accidentally rip the microphone that's on the side. Or so I've heard. Here is the GoPro Quick app thing that you need to update your uh, camera with before you start. So that's important. We're gonna go through how to do that too, but it's gonna be fun. So fresh off the box, a charger cable. It is a USB-C and a USB-A. There is a attachment that clicks in, the standard GoPro one. And here's the other friend of that one. It's a curved uh, 3M sticker thing for a car or something bent. There we go, here is the securing bolt that you really need, otherwise it doesn't work to attach anything to it. So this one is slightly better than the 9 in a few ways. Uh, it has a better lens, it's a hydrophobic lens, so it uh, rejects water driplets. So if you dip it in the water and take it out again, the water should just sift off. And this lens is removable, so you can take it off if you crack it or if you need a new one or I don't know, the usual action camera things. You can replace them instead of replacing the camera. I think it's the same size as the 9, so you should be able to use this one if you have a 9 and interchange them. It has the record button on the top. It has a actual super cool thing in the bottom. So this is unusual. You flip out the bottom part and then that connects to your attachment. Uh, compared to say the Osmo Action, uh, then this doesn't exist, so then you have to have an extra case to be able to attach. So I like that they added that, just a flip-up attachment to it. That's kind of nice. Uh, like I mentioned before, this here is not your uh, the, the latch for your memory card. That's actually a mic. Don't tear that off. Everything is on this side. There. See? So there you have your charging port. Uh, and transferring port, you can transfer it straight uh, out of the camera into a uh, computer or a phone. You have your memory card right there and you have your battery. But the first thing you have to do before you can do anything is actually update the camera. So, uh, in this you had your uh, little uh, scanny code for your GoPro Quick. Go into your App Store or Android Store, you will go and download it. And when the download is done, you pair it with your GoPro. So it's going to ask you if there's any GoPros away around. Like, yes, there is. And do that. And then start your update there. All right. So then we're just going to wait for that to finish. While we wait for the download and update, we can actually read through the specs here. So here are some of the new features and specs in this camera. The dimensions of the camera is 71 millimeters by 55 by 33.6. The weight of this unit is 158 grams. It is Wi-Fi controlled. It is waterproof down to 10 meters. It has a burst photo mode, which is 30 photos per one second. The ISO sensitivity is 100 to 6,400. Shutter speed is 1 over 25 to 1 over 2,000. The battery capacity is 1,720 milliamp battery. It's charged by USB unless you buy an extra a charger for it. It has a front display of 1.4 inches and the back display is 2.27. It can stream in MP4 and 1080. Audio format is WEAV audio files. The image format is JPEG and RAW. The slow motion settings are 120 frames per second over 4K. Higher slow-mo is 240 at 2K. 
The highest video format you can shoot at is 5120 times 2880 and that's at 24, 25, 30 or 60 frames per second. It shoots in 100 megabits per second in MP4, H.264 with the audio format AVC uh, or in H.265 in HEVC. It has a CMOS sensor. The res sensor resolution is 23 megapixels. The memory type is microSD. Wow, that's awesome. Anyways, now the camera is done, so we can actually fire him up and... Uh, did he fall asleep? There he is. Oh. And this camera is also it has a, a better horizon control uh, compared to the 9 and other cameras. It can almost go all the way to 45 degrees before it counters where the horizon is. So if you think about it, it's like you're having a big box and then a small box on inside. So it'll move freely inside the big box until it hits a corner and then it has to adjust. Basic, basically that's what it does. Anyways, uh, on the back screen of uh, this little beautiful camera is uh, a few quick command buttons here that you can set. Excuse me. Uh, this little part here I really liked. Uh, you can set the presets for what you're doing. So if you're gonna do uh, uh, something cinematic, 4K or 5.3K, um, or you want to have different white balances, so you have an inside setting and an outside setting, or a shaky setting and a steady setting, you just go in, excuse me, and set it. Right here in the bottom, you just press plus. You pick if it's video mode, so yeah, it's video mode. And then you just uh, choose what resolution do you want, uh, say 1080 maybe. And uh, let's do a slow-mo. 1080 slow move, 240 frames, that'll be fun. You can pick which kind of lens you're gonna do, is it wide, is it zoom or not? Uh, what kind of duration, is it gonna stop after a while, or are gonna record till it's turned off? Uh, what kind of sound, do you want a timer on it, do you want a time to capture, so you, you put it up, you run down the mountain and then it starts after a while. You can also set many of these settings in your app, so you know. You can do your uh, ISO range, so minimum ISO up to a maximum ISO, so it will adapt after that. You can set your white balance to auto or inside, outside, very handy. Uh, do you want to uh, do raw audio on or off? And then you can set your shortcuts for the front screen. There, so I say okay. And then it's gonna ask me to name this setting. Let's call that Epic. Yeah, that's big. that'll be nice. Epic Somo. There, so now my setting is called Epic. Uh, I do have the option of changing the how much boost it has on the uh, horizon control as well, so I can turn it all the way off or have it extra boosted. If you slide down, you have some more settings. Uh, if you want your grid in the screen or if you want to have it stop beeping, if you want to have a few other settings in here. Do you have it? There's an easy menu there. If you sw swipe up, you get your... Uh, uh, your recorded video, so you can check that out. If you slide, s swipe sideways, you can get your time lapse. If you swipe the other way, if you swipe the other way, you have your video. Swipe once more, you have your photos. So swipe, it, swipe, it, swipe. You also have your little front screen here, which has also been uh, upgraded since before. Ta -da. So before it was like a, a very slow, low updated screen, so you can really use it. But now they're promising to mirror what you're shooting as much as possible. So you get a real-time view of what's, what's happening. All right, so we're sending us off to our future selves and gonna have fun and see what this can do. I with you. Hello everybody, this is a color test on the GoPro Hero 10 and Osmo Action and Insta360 Go. The Insta360 didn't have 32K, so it's at 2,700, but the other ones are on 3,200K. My uh, dinner jacket is great, so you know. And uh, yeah, that should be enough color for you guys to look at. So now I'm going to do the tilt shift test, which is basically when you tilt the camera up to 45 degrees until the GoPro switches over. Whoop, there you go. And you're tilting, and you're tilting, and you're tilting, and you're tilting, and there you switch over. All right, there you have it. So this is the color uh, flat, I believe. So you see how great it is in comparison. 
this is the color f uh, vibrant vibrant color this is the color code natural natural color code this is in 5.3k in natural color code 25 frames This is the hypersmooth and the shaky test. And we couldn't figure out anything more shaky than cobblestone. And we're gonna do something I'm really not used to doing. So, I hope you enjoy, and I hope I don't injure myself. Hey everybody, we're gonna go go-karting and we're gonna see uh, what they can do. We're gonna strap them on the cart, we're gonna do some b-rolls and uh, yeah, come with us. Right, that was so much fun. The GoPro Hero 10 uh, really performs well. Uh, I couldn't really believe how uh, well this little guy does. Uh, super smooth, the stabilization is insane compared to the other ones. We saw that in the longboarding clip as well, but here as well. Uh, better quality than the other two, the Insta360 GO 2 and the DJI Osmo Action. Uh, this one has them both beat, I must say. Uh, love the features that I have in it, the responsive uh, touchscreen, the following front screen that actually you can follow and use as a selfie screen, the three mics, love that too. Also love the attachment point where you just flip out and uh, can attach it to anything, really like that too. Uh, love the user friendliness, I must say I, I'm, I really like it. Well, uh, thank you Cyberphoto for uh, lending us to us, uh, so we could just have a go at it. And yeah, pick up your own one if you want to. And uh, till next time, don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, leave a comment if you have any other questions or anything else. Anyways, love you guys. See ya.